Okay. So there's this feature of DaVinci Resolve 17. Actually, it's been in DaVinci Resolve for a while. It enables you to automatically sort your clips and it is incredible. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can do it, why you should be doing it, why it's going to be essentially a staple in your workflow from here on out. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we are in DaVinci Resolve 17. Welcome. And I'm going to show you how you can automatically create bins and have your clips be automatically sorted for you in DaVinci Resolve 17. This is going to change your life, literally. Now, first things first, this effect can actually be done within the edit page. But I think it makes a lot more sense to do this within the media page because the majority of the time, that's when you're going to be importing your clips. So we're going to be doing this in the media page. So in order to activate this effect, you're going to need to go to view, scroll down and make sure show smart bins is enabled. So once it's enabled, you will see a little tab pop up right here. Oh, before I get started, you can actually split your media pool right here into two views. So if you click this icon here, you can see it has two split views. So if you wanted to have, for example, one which shows just a thumbnail view and one which shows the lists, you can do that. Just a quick fun fact, but let's get back to the tutorial. Okay, so as I was saying, so this is the smart bins feature and essentially how it works is this. You're basically telling DaVinci Resolve, depending on what parameters which I specify, I want you to automatically create a bin based on that. So I'll explain. In the smart bins section right here, right click and add smart bin. You'll be then greeted by this menu here. And essentially what this is, it's an automatic sorting feature, which will create bins based on the parameters that you pick. Okay, so I'm going to go to media pool properties and we're going to click onto that. Then we're going to open this drop down menu. And for this specific media pool properties, these are all of the parameters that we can specify, which we want to isolate and create a bin automatically from. So I'm going to scroll down and find something like frame rate. Now we're basically saying anything within a media pool, which has a frame rate of, and you can specify here, I'm going to say 50 frames per second, automatically create a bin. So right now, as you can see, it's actually automatically already sorted the clips based on whatever is 50 frames per second. So I can actually reach out to this 50 FPS and then press create. Now you can see if I click on any of these clip properties and I open up my metadata, you can see that this clip is actually truly 50 FPS. It's literally in 50 frames per second. So right now it's automatically created a bin for me with the parameters that I've specified. It doesn't matter how many subfolders you may have in your media pool, it will search through all of them and create a bin automatically for you. Not only this, but say for example, you wanted these smart bins to carry across multiple different projects and timelines. You can do that. Well, let's create a new smart bin. Now I want to create a smart bin based on video codec. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to media pool properties, open this drop-down menu and find video codec. I know it exists for sure. Bang. So now, for example, if I wanted to sort all of the PNG images into one folder, I can do that. So P and G, just like that. If you see, <laughs> we have all of our PNG images here. But now, for example, I want this to carry across all of my projects, all of my timelines. So how do I do this? All you need to do is click onto this icon here, which is show in all projects. Now, if I close this project and I open a new project, I will have a PNG smart bin, which will always be here no matter where I go. And again, you can see. PNG, 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 these are all PNGs. So this is extremely powerful and extremely useful. You can have smart bins for literally anything. And I mean literally anything. If I go to my metadata and I go to camera, I can actually sort it by white balance. So if, for example, I have something which is 5600K, you can see it's automatically sorted my clips by white balance. This is mind blowing, literally mind blowing. You have tons and tons of options that you can change it by. Camera frames per second, shutter, ISO, LUTs used, frames per second, audio, clips, details. You can change it by video codec, start frame resolution. If I wanted to highlight all of the clips in 4K, I can. I could just click resolution and change it to make sure it is 3840 by 2160. Bang, now it's showing me all of the clips which are 4K, automatically sorted for me. So again, I can create a bin, 4K. Now if I go to my timeline, what I need to do is navigate to the left-hand side here. That's, let me change this view so I can see it. All of my 50 frames per second clips are here. All of my 4K clips are here. And it's that simple for me to literally just drag a clip into the timeline and play it back super smooth. Super incredible. Again, this is, this is truly mind blowing. So a few things you might want to have smart bins for are frames per second. You can sort your clips from 25 to 50 frames per second. You can sort them from video codecs. So for example, if you shot something in ProRes or RAW, or if you wanted to have a bin specifically for like your images or JPEG images or your PNG, you can have it based on white balance if you wanted to. This is mind blowing. I'm going to leave you specifically to go through all of these and figure out 
what's best for your workflow but the possibilities are truly truly endless like this is actually insane guys anyway this is just a quick video guys if you like this video please share subscribe comment like i've also got my lots link in the description 50 percent off currently at the moment so if you want to support me go buy one of those and yeah i'll see you in the next video guys peace